Welcome to episode 18 of the Nerd Outlet Podcast. This is your boy, Luther. And, as always, what up, Gabe? Yeah, what up, what up? What up, Greg? What's up, what's up, nerds? What up, Nathan? Hey, man, uh, I'm not here right now. Uh, I got some water leaking uh, problems at my house right now, so... Talking about his penis? Uh, got him. Yeah, I got a... I got some discharge coming out of that, so uh, I got to take care of that first. What, what color is it, Nathan? Uh, it's a weird, like, greenish color. It's, like, slimy. It's, Does it burn? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> that shit kind of stings. So uh, I'm gonna You should get... probably see a doctor. Uh, see, I would, but... Um, you don't have insurance, right? Yeah, yeah my health care yeah. doesn't really cover that. Yeah, right. Did you just, like, not wrap it up? What happened? Uh, I'm... See... I have I have a thing whenever I see uh things that my 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 dick can fit into I just like to mm. shove them in there like I've mm. shoved my dick into a pencil sharpener before <laughs> luckily it was turned off so you know I'm fine No but... yeah you you definitely have AIDS you got full blown AIDS Ah <laughs> oh, man see, I didn't want I didn't I didn't want to believe it at first but uh Dude, I guess yeah. I'll have to You got to start wrapping it up man even if the ultra thin condoms At least you might as well just use sheepskin <laughs> Yeah something hey. I just want to let you know, it's not rad, dude, to wear condoms. <laughs> PSA brought to you by Nerd Outlet. Yeah. <laughs> Don't use condoms. It's not rad. You're welcome. But uh, this is your boy Nathan signing out. I got to go stick my dick in some mold real quick. Skirt, skirt! <laughs> <laughs> but yo. yo. <laughs> so Gabe. Yo, what up, man? What's up? I heard you, uh, before we started, you were talking about the Bad and Bougie music video, right? Yeah, I was talking about how this boy, Little Uzi Vert, is borderline a midget. Damn. Because I, I didn't realize that, because the first time I saw him was on the Double uh, XL freestyle thing. Yeah. I thought he was just, like, hunching, you know, because he was dancing, doing his thing. But no, nah, dude, compared to, he was as big as, like, the uh, four-wheelers. <laughs> they were yeah, you see, you see this man on a four-wheeler, it's like, <laughs> oh, okay. Is that a is that a child? I, I honestly <laughs> thought I that. Can he reach the pedal? Like, is it a child or like an XL ATV that you've like never seen before? First of all, this is what he's rocking, right? He's got sweatpants on, some beige like they're all black sweatpants, beige shoes, and a black shirt tucked in his sweatpants. First of all, what the fuck? I'm glad you're talking about the attire because the next Migos video I want to bring up has all to do about attire. Yeah. <laughs> so, talking about bad and bougie, and I see you're uh, poking at some plot holes there in that music video. Have you seen the music video T-shirt by Migos? Yes, I have. I have. <laughs> so tell me, tell me why all these people are up in the mountains. Some of them aren't wearing. The only person who is warmly dressed up there is my boy Offset, who happens to also be the best person in the group. He's gloves. Bro, Quavo. Wait, was Quavo with the one with the one with the gloves? No, no, Quavo was the best one in the, in the group. Nah, bro. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to think real quick. Fight. No, 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 no. Offset. Yo, wait. Hold up, bro. Now you're confusing me. <laughs> no, hold on. Hold on, think... hold on. Now, I, now I need to look this up. I need to fact check real Qua quick what, uh, what Migo songs. No, no, because Quavo doesn't have the uh, like the goatee thing going on. Give me a second. I can figure this out real quick. Which one of the Migos was in the... Classic Travis Scott song. Which one of my Negroes? Uh, Mama Sita. Can I, can I say that? Uh, yes, yes, you can. That's acceptable. Okay. Yes. Um. <clears throat> no, 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 no. This is Rich Homie. Okay, so I'm wrong. I'm wrong. <laughs> so that's Rich Homie Quan. Yeah, yeah. Shout Give me a second. Uh, Give me a second. Boy, Rich Homie. Then I wonder what have. he's up to nowadays. Yo, speaking of, real quick. Yeah, what's up? This uh, soldier. And Chris Breezy. Dude, what is beat. happening? Yo, King Dude, Soldier King back, bro. King Soldier yeah, he, back. He has no, to no. put himself back in the headlines. I, somebody said he uh he backed out the fight. Wait, King Soldier, bro. King Soldier never backed what, out. What wasn't they um Mayweather gonna train Soldier and Mike Tyson gonna train <laughs> um, Chris Breezy? <laughs> yeah. Correction real quick, I have to uh, redact my statement. Well you know Chris Brown Gabe has was right. Quavo though. is the better person in the Migos group. Yeah, I know Quavo is the best one. You saying? Yeah, Quavo Big Papa, shout out. <laughs> redacted. Yes, redacted. <laughs> I was saying, uh, you know Chris Brown has like, more experience, though, with yeah, the Soldier Boy, with punching people in the face, specifically women. Yeah, it's a little fucked there. up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's really funny, because I was watching like the whole beef. Like I, I found this compilation with like, the whole beef in, in one video. And that's all um, Soldier Boy has against Chris Brown. Is him. Is him punching Rihanna. Even Chris Brown was like, dude, I was 17. I'm 27 now. Like I was a kid. Shit happens. I grew up. But in, in Soldier Boy over here, it's like, 
getting robbed in the hood. You see the video where he's like, he puts his arm around, he's like that one dude, and the dude didn't take that kindly. Bro, because he's King Soldier. Like, he does what he wants. For sure. <laughs> he's King and Soldier. The, okay, so the video cuts off there, but it's another guy recording, right? There's another video of him, like, throwing his hat and his chain on the floor. But, like, you got this, homie. You got this. Is it almost as good as the Little B knockout video? No, but it's almost as good as that video of Meek Mill taking an L on his mama's stoop. <laughs> oh, wait, when he slides down <laughs> the steps. Yo. Bro, wait. first off, he gets ripped on back-to-back. <laughs> then... Nikki dumps him. Yeah. And now this man's slipping down stoops. What's next? This slipping man can't take no <laughs> Question though. What's up? Uh in that video, was Soldier being robbed or was he just like letting himself be robbed himself? I like, think he was letting himself be robbed. He was just giving robbed. his stuff to somebody. Dude, because Soldier ain't about that life. <laughs> <laughs> he claims like eight different hoods at once. Right. Bro, he doesn't claim just College Park anymore. He claims Bumpton. He doesn't need to say he's hard. Like, he has no reason to. He's King Soldier. Yeah. Big Soldier. <laughs> uh, have you, have I like you... when he's flexing and like, dude, where? What? What do you have there? Yeah, like, he's in the gym and it's like, dude, you haven't... You have, like, barely definition right now. <laughs> like... What was your last hit, Soldier? <laughs> Bro, have you not listened to Soldier 6? No, I haven't no. listened to Soldier 6. I have not. I haven't listened to Soldier 6 either because I haven't listened to anything Who do you Soldier think is more relevant, Soldier Boy or Little B? Little B, bro. I was about to tell you, um, my <laughs> my boys, uh, over at the noisy uh YouTube channel, just put a uh, little B video up not too long ago. And by not too long ago, I mean like literally like two or three days ago. That boy's little B back. Yeah, bro. I mean, was like, this like his 18th studio album? Oh, I mean, no, they, I, dude, he's he doesn't even do music anymore. Like little B's like honestly like evolved past that. He's more of like a motivational speaker. And, like, he's going out there to colleges to tell people, like, yo, stay based like me. Mm-hmm. And maybe one day you could have a shitty rap career and so make shitty. millions of dollars mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. come out of these colleges and do what I'm doing. So he's out there philosophizing. <laughs> Straight up, Little B. Stay based. Base Dude, nation. I'm surprised, like, Little B has such a cult following that he does. Like, it's ridiculous the amount of people who like Little B on a serious level. Like, me and him, we fuck around. Like, I fuck with the, with the base god, yeah. but I don't take that man serious whatsoever. <laughs> Bro, what, what about the base god curse? Like, dude, we're recording this, and this is oh, about I to mean, be out for look the at public. Me, I'm, not, I'm, not dissing the, I'm not dissing the base god. Little B, I know you're listening. I'm not talking. I love you, man. <laughs> this ends up on, I'll like, like hip-hop radio I'll see pictures something. on my feet later on, but, you know, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so I love you, dude. Just don't curse me, bro. Like, don't curse me. Because, like, honestly, like... I don't have money like that to go to California, and like California? it looks like the only cure for the base god curse is moving to Cali, aka Little B's home, because Kevin Durant <laughs> had the base god curse for years. But as soon as this man puts on the Golden State jersey, he goes, "Welcome home, base god curse lifted." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, you've literally talked so much trash about how you can cross this man up. You can shoot better than this man. He comes to your state and you're like, all right, we're cool now. Dog, didn't, didn't Little B almost go pro? Like, didn't he always join the NBA? Bro, have you ever seen Little B play basketball? Yeah, that dude, dude, remember the, the video, Fuck KD? He's shooting on them threes and then layups, he's dunking. Bro. All in black and white. Bro, Little B's never almost gone pro. <laughs> no, no, he really did. Like I probably look it up right now. Like he played like, I think he tried out. All right, for yo. The, uh, what was that team Jay Z sponsored? Um, Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, yeah, the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. I thought uh, Little B was a little too based for uh basketball. I honestly don't think Little B does, does drugs. I'm gonna say that right now, Little B. I don't. I think you're a poser. Damn. Shout out. See, like, uh, I just want to say that me and Greg didn't say anything like that. So, Little B, if you're gonna curse anybody. Please curse the guy by the name of no, Gabriel sh- Tuesta. Sh- yeah, no, no curses here. I'm staying based. You just yeah. my full government I don't even name. know what that means, but I'm <laughs> staying based. Greg, bleep that out. <laughs> so, Gabe. Uh, yeah, what's up, man? Wanted to ask you something. Well, go, preach on. <clears throat> you said you wanted to ask me something. Whoa, yeah. yeah, spit it out. Bro, you, were, uh, you said you had some knowledge to drop about views, like... What oh, happened, dude? Like, okay, yeah, we're going back there, so it better we're be back good. to views. Um, like, what, I, I've been what, listening to what, it for like the past um week now, maybe a little bit more than that. Honest, how many times have you listened to this album from front to front to back? Uh, like total, like yeah, like overall to time, from the beginning. Yeah, since the album dropped, uh, 
Over 100. Maybe more. She. Lo- so dude, what? Honestly, I, I would place that one of my top five albums of all time. So what new revelation can you give us on views? Drake is a genius. Because I was, I was watching this video, how much inspiration and he, he took from like song like not even old school songs like songs from the early 2000s and okay so how many uh every song party next door songs he ripped off <laughs> every, every one of them <laughs> how, how, how many how many good party songs we could have had in p3 but he decided to take the beats and uh dude i'm, steal them for I'm himself? glad he did drake's a better artist bro nah like dude no i mean like <laughs> p1 and p2 is way better than most of drake's yeah. catalog no dude nothing beats take care Bro, why are you still repping Take Care? Like, if you would have said nothing was the same, I would have had Bro, no, for nothing you, was the same is great, but it doesn't compare to the greatness that is Take Care. Bro, Take Care, I'd say, is a great album. Yeah. Nothing was the same is Drake's best album. No, nothing was the same is Drake's third best album. It goes Take Care, Views, nothing was the same. <laughs> all right, tell us why. Tell us why. Yeah, I, I need to know top your five, reasoning. Top five, top five. Cause we're not taking you seriously right now. <laughs> yeah, dude, you just said, why is views not why is views number why is views even in the top three? It's not even one of the best records of last year. Yeah, yeah, it is. No, well, okay, what, what would well, you why? say it's better? Why? Birds and the trap sing McKnight. Oh my god, Birds. so much better, dude. No, Travis Bro, Scott. I, I, no, I, I'd even say Kid Cudi's album he no. released <laughs> last year was better no. than views. This is done. We're done. I'm not talking anymore. I'm gonna, no, I'm you gonna, got, you gotta back a, this up. I'm gonna pull a Kanye. So that means like you're gonna pick that mic back up, and then <laughs> out of nowhere be like, "Yeah, Views is the greatest album yeah. of all time." Dude, because just think. Wait about a it. second, I actually have something to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were serious. No, no, no. no, no. no. I was being Kanye. Yeah. I mean, it's just a Drake album. It's a great Drake album. It's, it's nothing compared to it right now. Wow, that logic is so flawless. No, but it really is. Like honestly, Drake is a great lyricist and, and a, a great poet. One of the greatest songbirds of a generation. Have you um listened to anything Quentin Miller? You mean Drake? Yeah. Bro, no, I mean like <laughs> nah. Drake's ghostwriter nah. now is a rapper. Yeah, Drake. No, no, no. I'm talking about Quentin Miller, like No, Drake. I, I know you don't want. <laughs> All right, bro. I feel like I have some things to show you after this podcast is over. Some revelations. Just wait till Drake's uh, next mixtape, whatever he's dropping. Oh, the one with his dad is the cover? Yeah. It was the one supposed to drop what, last month, so he said it's this yeah, month. Yeah, he said it was going to be mm-hmm. December, but as usual this. in uh, Drake's fashion, he promises dates, and then they just like never delivers and never talks about why he didn't deliver. Well, dude, right? It's like his relationship life, you know? Like right now, he's with J-Lo, right? Or supposed to, because whatever, they got a picture out. Wait, like J-Lo? Like... Jennifer Lopez, yeah. Bro, but my dude Drizzy's like what, twenty nine or thirty? Yeah, and she's seventeen years older. Yeah, it's really funny because her first Doesn't album matter. was something like, like the title was like something something six, right? From the six. Okay. And where's Drake from? From from the, the six. six. <laughs> think about it, man. But I mean, like, premeditated, <laughs> premeditated. But I mean, the six don't mean shit. Like the real six is out here in Atlanta, Zone Six. Do you know the real six up in Canada, bro? The six territories of what is it, Toronto? Shout out. All right, all right, I mean, uh, dude, if you want to, I just don't understand, like... All I'm saying right now is that, uh, because whenever, you know, Rihanna broke Drake's heart, yeah. I, I deleted every Rihanna song, you know, to show to show support for my boy Drake. Uh, what's it called? Um, let me refer to her as, uh, the Rihanna Navy likes to refer to her as, uh, Bad bad Gal Riri. Didn't she release an album last year? You say the, the Rihanna Navy. Yeah, bro, that's what she calls her fans, the Rihanna oh, Navy. Yeah, I mean, like, cause see, like, I know about Rihanna, cause Rihanna puts out more hits than Drizzy does. Woo! And yeah, shout out Bad Gal Riri. One but time. she also cups the style. Yeah. On her new album. Speaking of navies, do you guys go on Black People Twitter on Reddit? On what? Uh, I haven't been on, on there Reddit. In a while. Black girl Twitter. What? Black people Twitter. Oh, Black people Twitter. I've seen it before. Okay, if but you allow me to say this word, cause it is part <clears throat> of the hashtag. You can't. You can't. <sighs> hashtag. <laughs> In uh in navy, cause okay so on uh what was it Yahoo well, accidentally I was about to just say it just so Gabe would like <laughs> well, smite me I'll, I'll say it I'll say it in a minute but uh, Yahoo Yahoo was talking about Trump trying to build a bigger navy right okay and they accidentally misspelled bigger oh and called it uh, yeah yeah okay. so Black people Twitter has taken like an adoption to that word and it's the funniest thing you ever see it's like you know how Black people like stereotypically late to things. Okay. Which, like whatever, right? 
So it's like a, a picture, like a meme of like Trump, like, hey, you know, we're at war, da, da, come to the Gulf War, uh, come to the Gulf Sea, right? He's like, oh, yeah, we be right there. We're on the corner. They, like out eight days later. Like not even there yet. <laughs> Dude, it's just, it's, it's a battlefield out there. Hey. It's wild, bro. It's almost as bad as Bikini Bottom Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't think I'm playing. Bro, but I mean, see, the problem, my problem with Bik- Bikini Bottom Twitter, white people Twitter, and black people Twitter is they all just steal from each other. That's very true. That's, that's so true. But, uh, they all just like rehashing jokes and shit like that. Yeah, but I mean, like, if you want your daily, like, dose of, like, comedy, you fuck with black people Twitter only. Yo, yeah, Gabe, but, um, an- yeah. another serious question that I actually re- wrote down, because I want to know, um, if you're still watching it, what's good with The Walking Dead in you? Mm. Do I haven't watched I've been so off that for the longest time. <clears throat> so, what was the last season you watched? Like, four. Okay, so you don't no, even no. care about the show anymore? I care. I just haven't had a chance to yet. So don't spoil it for me. Bro, but I mean like Faggot. some some <laughs> s- some real shit's going on right now. What what kind of shit? Bro. The same old shit. Yeah. So so nothing's really just, nothing's just like <laughs> Bro, I mean they're all just they're out there still just trying to survive and uh eat zombie meat at this point. Because you know like a lot whoa, of Whoa, whoa, they got on cannibal now? Like they're eating like zombies? Uh, I mean, some people are. Or was that always in the background of the show? It just never really, like, in the forefront? Uh, I mean, it was always, like, in the background. Like, you'd see them, like, be cutting up, like, some nasty-looking meat, and you'd be like, dude, that looks almost like human meat, and you're just like, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. And then you see, like, this dude Rick, like, sometimes foaming out the mouth. Oh, Rick is still there? I thought he'd be dead by now. Nah, bro, why would Rick be dead? Because Carl's the, the, like, the main character now, from what I hear. I mean, bro, this isn't like Dragon Ball Z. Like, we aren't going to like a cell saga where they're trying to transition like <laughs> main characters and then like they back out of it. Dude, okay, so I found out that um, Glenn died thanks to a uh, bitch of my mom that she was. And I was like, it's like, did you find out what happened? I'm like, no, no, please don't tell me. She's like, Glenn died. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, why, why are you so mad about that? Because I, I, I wasn't caught up. And I cared about Glenn. Like I like Glenn as a character, especially when him and Maggie were fucking. I feel like like Maggie smells like really, really bad because you know they don't shower in that show at all. I mean, bro, it doesn't matter. I mean, point. dude, it matters. I mean, I guess maybe mm. not. But why would you just have like all the other female in that show? Like, why would you circle out Maggie? Long pause. <clears throat> Fuck with that. Quality content. Uh, I don't. I mean, like, you don't, you don't it doesn't tickle my funny bone. You though. don't know who that is? No, I don't know who that oh is. Oh my god, never mind, dude. Okay, but I, I think that's the lady from like Fox News, right? Yeah, the one who's like who makes everything to about about racism. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I feel like that's 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 true though. Dude, I still can't believe after all these years you're still messing with black people Twitter. Dude, like, it's black the people Twitter thing. is the funniest shit you ever go to, bro. It's all right. No, dude. Honestly, like it has its like you gotta be there at a, like a, a nice like time of current events. Like if if nothing's really going on in the world, black people Twitter is kind of like it's, it's lame. That's why I left. No, it. no, it's aight. Nah, bro. It's but like, when, like, that shit is weak. When all the L's between Meek Mill and Chris Brown going on, I mean, I mean Meek Mill and um Drake were going on, bro. Black people Twitter is blowing up. Nothing but beat me. Yeah. Wait, wait a second. Did you just confuse your boy Drake? No. With that of Chris Brown? I did not. Yeah, you I'm did. I'm pretty sure you did. No, no, that didn't happen. Hey, <laughs> quick question though. Going back to Drake, mm. you see how a whole bunch of people in the last like two days have been posting up like, yo, thanks Obama for being like uh, pretty much black and like, you know. The president, yeah. Yeah. Have it's you pretty s- much have you <laughs> <laughs> for, First and foremost. Being pretty much black, but second being the president of the United States. Have you seen um the the uh, Instagram shout out uh, Drizzy gave for uh, President Obama? Did you say Drizzy gave for Barack Obama? Yeah. Yeah. So tell me why I'm on Instagram scrolling through my stuff. I see Nas gives Obama a shout out. It's like a picture of him, Michelle Obama, and Obama. I was like, all right, cool. Go through other people. Other people like just showing pictures of like Michelle Obama and Obama or their kids and all this stuff. I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Get down to Drizzy. And I was swiping a little too fast. I see his like thing and he's like, hey, thanks. He's like, even though I'm from Canada and I've only and I'm only in America like 
uh, part time of the year, but I still call this place my home. I'm glad that you were the leader, whatever, whatever. So I scroll up to the picture in a in a typical Drizzy fashion. What do you think this picture looks like? It's very soulful. It's very emotional. It's very, hey, very, uh, Greg, very uh, impactful. You hear all these stuff, right? I'm going to show you this picture, right? I feel like it's just a picture of Drake looking somewhat pudgy. Like it's, he probably ate a large meal <laughs> just before he took the picture, but he felt bad about it. So then he kind of went to work out. So he's like, sort of looks like he, you know, he's been lifting, but he's no, mostly <laughs> just there wearing like a linen suit or <laughs> something like that. All right. <laughs> Greg, check this picture out. Okay. Oh, I was kind of close. <laughs> yes. He is wearing a suit. Wait, is, is it Drake like it's in a car and somehow it's raining inside the car? No. And he's crying? There's no car. No, are you ready to see it? Yeah. It's a really bad Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not no. on like it's a fan Drake. page. This is Drake Champagne Obama. Poppy. Shout out Drake's to Champagne Poppy. real Instagram. Nice. Let me see that again. <laughs> I saw that image and I didn't know that yeah, he same, posted that. that too. Do uh, send that to me. Make that make that uh the. Oh, absolutely! Yeah. I will. I will. <laughs> Shout out to Champagne Poppy, <laughs> dude. One time, I do understand. Everybody else is just like doing these nice <laughs> things, like highlighting Obama. But this man has to post a picture where he ma- face mashes him and Obama. I'm like, bro, like, chill. Bro, Drake's always been extra. Come on, at this point, you got to accept him for who he is. Uh, I mean, I've always accepted Drake for who he is. That's the, one of the greatest rappers and musicians of all time. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I mean, <laughs> he, he drops numbers. <laughs> That's all that matters. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm saying, dude. Don't be hating on this man for being more successful than Barack Obama. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wouldn't, <laughs> whoa, whoa. See, I wouldn't say that, though. Dude, I guarantee you Drake is worth more than Barack Obama. Worth more, yeah, but uh, it makes more and gets more bitches than Barack Obama. But I mean, though, so who has a better life, Drake or Barack Obama? But I'm saying, though, like, if I'm going <laughs> down to let's say uh, Somalia, right? Yeah, and I name drop Drake, a lot of my Somalian pirates won't know who I'm name dropping. But if I name drop Barack Obama, my ass might get you know tied up and thrown down. Yeah, at the that's bottom a of downside. It. That's a negative. Why you bring that up? I'd rather be. But like, I'm saying though, like they don't know, they don't give two fucks who Drake is. They don't know who Drake is. Okay, who would you rather be, Barack Obama or or, or Drake for a day? Oh, Drizzy for okay, sure. So they, that answers your question right then. And there. But I'm saying though, because no. see, Drizzy seems like he has more of a chill lifestyle. While my dude Obama went from having like jet black hair when he started working as the president, yep. and then eight years his hair is like fully gray because of all the stress he's gone through. Well, my How boy Drizzy, huh? How old is Barack Obama now? It's probably like fifty. Ooh, I mean, you're right. I mean, I guess being a president does stress you out, but at the same time, dude, like, he doesn't have as much money as Drake. You know, he his bitch isn't as bad as Drake's bitch. It, but, but I mean, at the, wait, wait, at the who same, even is Drake's bitch? Yeah, all of them, dude. Like Taylor Swift, Rihanna. Nikki. You think he's actually tapped T Swift? Oh, easily. But I'm saying you actually you think you don't he's think taking T-Swift the time. gives it up quick? I mean, yes, I'm pretty sure T Swift. Yeah, gives I mean, it up considering quick. how many boyfriends she's had. And yeah. So like, of course she gave it up to Drake. Why wouldn't she? But I'm saying though, in what sort of like circle is Drake's circle and then T Swift circle aligning? Where well, didn't they do a collabo? Grammys. That true, yeah. true. Yeah, Grammy after parties and stuff like that. It's that really funny matter. to think that I feel like Tay Swift, Tay T Swift is more like like crazy when it comes to the bedroom. And Drake is more like, hey, you know, just be passionate. So T Swift whips out the chains and whips. She's like, ah, right, you gotta fuck me hard. And, and Drake's like, I just want to look in your eyes and, like, and, and kiss you. <laughs> and then write a song about it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I mean, like, I don't know what to say to that one. I, I put some thought into this. Dude. I was thinking about this the other day when I was like at home drinking wine. I was just chilling. You being know. And listening to views for the hundred and third time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, listen, I listened to it on the way here. Damn. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up another question because I said. Please do. Please do. All right, please so do, please Greg, do, please do. I was um recently looking up animes that I want to get into. Oh yeah, what uh what animes have you been watching, Greg? Dude, I haven't been watching anime um recently at all. No, same uh, here. I actually canceled my Country Roll membership, and it's kind of sad. What? Yeah, you have, uh, you. I just you I mean I don't watch it anymore. I literally just watch uh Netflix and Amazon Prime. Yeah, I was gonna say, and they... I literally just come home from work, eat dinner, watch something while I eat dinner, and then maybe. 
play a game for a little bit or keep watching what I was watching and then go to bed. So yeah. I don't really have time to watch anime because obviously Savannah's not going to watch anime with me. So, I mean, I have to have, have like my own free time to do it. Oh, okay. Um, honestly, from what I've seen and from what my friends are saying, like there's not much coming out in like the newest seasons that looks interesting at all. Yeah. Um, but there's some things that I missed that look pretty good. Um, I still want to see uh, Cabinary of the Iron Fortress. That looked really cool. Yeah, it's like that I, zombie anime. Yeah, I've seen that one. And another one that I heard that is actually like, like, like really, really new. Mm-hmm. That like I think they've only gone maybe two or three episodes. I can't remember the. Give me a second. I wrote down the title, but the whole premise of it is it's like an alternate like timeline of like World War One. Uh-huh. But a lot of people are saying it's like really good. Um, I think I saw that. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the name. So <clears throat> Dragon Ball Super is out now, but I mean, yeah, I, I don't know right? like how much I really care about Dragon Ball still. Oh, yeah, you same. seen it, Ooh. Gabe? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I plan to though. Do you really? Oh, dude. Yeah. Did you watch the movies? Like Battle of Gods and Resurrection F? Yeah, I own those movies. Yeah, they're great films, and if they're anything like you know, like the anime, anything like the movies, I'm gonna enjoy it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because I've seen a couple episodes like of the sub and. Like, it's just hard watching and, and trying to keep up with what they're saying at the same time. Cause it's oh, because it's Dragon Ball, yeah. Yeah, it's Dragon Ball, so. I it's waited. like the same thing. My problem with, like, when I was watching One Punch Man is sometimes they just talk too fast to keep up with the subs. But at the same time, it's One Punch Man, and you don't really need to understand what's going on. <laughs> Bro, True. slow down. I can't read that fast. <laughs> <laughs> but um, another question I have for both of you guys, right? Sure. So the holidays are over. So I'm thinking. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. the holidays. Rest in peace, Santa. So I want to know, what do you guys uh, what holidays do you guys think are valid holidays, and what which ones? What do you mean don't, valid? Like that yes. matter or that don't matter? Yeah, like don't matter. Like all right. Well, First off, the next holiday that's coming up that I think does not matter. Memorial Day. Valentine's Day. Yeah, that. Ooh, that's Gregory. what I'm saying. Like, bro, like fuck Valentine's. Heartless, day. you savage. I mean, he's not heartless. Like, it's I mean, just like, a dumb holiday, dude. You're right. I mean, you shouldn't have a specific day to just care about the person you love. You know, yeah, you like, should every day. It should be every day. You're, exactly. you're right. I mean, everybody. like, and I don't believe in like. I mean, I'm obviously gonna do something special on that day because yeah. I'm not gonna say because I feel obligated, but like I should. So yeah. I'm gonna do it. So, but Mandatory. like at the same time, like. <laughs> When people say, like, it's just a holiday made up to sell Hallmark cards. I mean, Valentine's Day, like, why is that a holiday True. that we celebrate? Up. True. Well, for me, it'd be Christmas. What? Yeah, Christmas, because, first of all, Jesus was not born on December 25th. Oh, okay. Christmas, drop, drop Christmas. Knowledge. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to bring I mean, it back. I mean, I understand that, but, let me, but let it's me, still, let, it's let still a valid it holiday. The creation of Catholicism. <laughs> he got, this man is about to be like, right, just we'll bring so it back. We'll know, bring it back. I'm not even trying to get religious, but I'm just saying I'm the, Nazare- facts. <laughs> the Nazarene winters are way too cold for a child to be born. Well, no, because okay, if you look at the um, Fact. the star maps at the time, <laughs> it was not it was it was more of a of a summer, okay, summertime, right? Plus, okay, so we're gonna bring it back to the beginning of Catholicism, right? Where Constantine was like, hey, you know, why are we burning all these Christians? You know, let's just combine Christianity mm-hmm. and paganism and make a whole new religion, which is what they did. So a lot of the holidays that pagans celebrated is what carried over into christian holidays like christmas is a it's a pagan holiday it's, it's like the it's like a winter festival celebrating the, like the winter solstice or some shit like that <clears throat> and it has nothing to do with the with the like, birth of jesus and all this shit so i feel like it, it's a bogus holiday question are you hating on christmas because you were touched in a bat in a no-no spot by a christmas tree or by santa he doesn't have to answer that gabe don't answer that dude let me <laughs> let me tell you man that christmas tree was prickly Damn, bro. I still pull him out sometimes. Damn. <laughs> this man still shitting pine needles. <laughs> I wouldn't say shitting more like 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 they just come out sometimes. Like Ooh. I like I, I sit down like oh and, and and like like dig in like oh pine needle just throw it in the trash can, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. It's like it's like having a porcupine right there under you at all times. Hmm. Yeah. So real real and shit. So you don't you don't think Christmas is a legitimate holiday. No, it's not. Okay. 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 So Do you yeah. celebrate Christmas though? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, it'd be, you gotta it'd be weird if gifts. I didn't. Yeah, you gotta get them gifts, yeah, bro. Fuck with them gifts. There you go. But two holidays I wanna bring up. Oh, well, real quick, real quick. What's up? Columbus Day. Ooh, that murder. Christopher, yeah, Christopher Columbus. Oh, no, no, is no, no, real, like, real talk. Real talk. This boy Luther. 
looks up to Christopher Columbus <laughs> so much. He's your hero, dude. Every time I bring up his murderous, rapist ways, <laughs> this man's like, bro, don't talk trash about my band. He discovered America. He did a great. He did a lot of great things. He discovered my my island. Yeah, <laughs> shout out Hispaniola one time. Fuck like, off, dude. Like, bro, like, fuck off. Like, I'm sorry that you know he may have brought diseases and shit like that, but at the same time, like. Yo, what would Hispaniola be without him? Better, not enslaved, not in poverty. <laughs> a lot of a lot of like, young women and children not raped and forced into prostitution. I mean, yo, my boy uh, CC. That's what I like to call him. <laughs> he was just, you know, he was a young stud. He wasn't young. He was a young stud. He was <laughs> out for adventure. And things happened that he just were like out of his power. He just, you know, he didn't know better. Don't worry, like he matured. He's just like Chris Brown, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think he matured. <laughs> I don't think that was worse. If anything, he started slavery. Bro, here in the like, states. I see. I doubt that though. Like, how, what evidence can you bring up to this trial There's of Christopher Columbus that he was raping kids? On Bro, his I'm just saying, like, he didn't know better. It's like, Wait, what do you mean you didn't know better? Like, that's like if you take a pup and you rape it, you don't know it any better. I mean, but that's just an animal. Though. That's how they, that's <laughs> that's, like, how, that's how he saw other human beings as. Like, I'm just and saying, animals, though, anything like, that's bestiality. Though. Like he meets this tribe, right? There's some fine biddies there. Yeah, okay, like eight year olds. Yeah, continue. Okay, there's some fine biddies eight there. Eight year olds, yes. And, and he's just like he's trying to have a conversation with them. Like you know, I'm telling you, like he's a classy dude. Like you know, he's trying to take them out, like to eat. First, and he probably smells like ass constantly. Those European okay, so he's, he's a classy how long, dude. How long was he on the ship? Months. Yeah, that's why he smells like ass. Months, dude. Uh, okay. And they didn't shower. All right. So Hashtag bubonic plague. Okay. See, but like all the all the burr he was drinking probably like masked the whole smell. Like he probably just reeked of alcohol at that point. Mixed with like shit. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah. All right. All that stuff. But I'm still saying he's like a classy dude, and he's like trying to talk to these natives. You know, he's like taking them out, like Do you giving think them he greased his hair. Oh, for sure, bro. Like, and by grease, I mean like semen. Like, nah, like, bro, there was just like, <laughs> there was just like a constant coat of grease since due to the no showering. But like, his hair was just like constantly like slicked back, like on some freakazoid shit. He touched his like dripping. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so like, I'm just saying, like, you know, he took them out to eat. He probably tried to talk to them, but it's like, it was like a language barrier. And like. I don't. Okay, so it's okay to rape him as long as you wind him and dine him first. No, I'm not. Saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that, like, like how do you justify like, how, rape how do we, of your people? How do we know these weren't like a passive people? And then, so or how do we know passive. these people? How do we even know these people weren't like savages? Like, and what if he gets there right and they're all just like banging each other? Like, if this is the first thing he's seen, like, how's he not supposed to hop on this bang train? Yeah, I mean, bang the adults. I mean, but at the same time, though, like. It's it's a common knowledge that back in the day they used to just grab like twelve year olds and give them to people. Yeah, that is very like true. yo the classic Disney movie, Pocahontas. Pocahontas, Pocahontas was definitely not of age yeah. when my boy I don't John remember Smith. John, John Smith. Smith found her. She was like a child, even though there is no records of him actually having yeah, any sort of relations with like, her. In, not like in reality, didn't he just pretty much kidnap her? No, no, I mean, no, no, no. Like, she, by, um, like he, they, he, he, she, what I want to say was she was found like around his campsite and they were like literally about to just kill her. And he's like, nah, this is a kid. I can fuck her. No, no, no. Like he, he never, they, that, I'm pretty sure they fucked. No, no, no. Like they never, he never had You're any, telling me a grown man next to a thick, petite Indian supple woman. She wasn't a woman though. She was a kid. In the, in the tribe at 12 years old. Is a you woman. do understand though he raped. I mean, not he raped, but he like murdered her tribe, and he was a he was like a racist. That's why he didn't fuck her. But then why would he keep her? Because he needed someone to translate. Like that part of the story is true. I thought that was um like she actually no, didn't I... know English. But like, I think he, I think he, I think they actually like like he taught her. Because I think she wasn't she actually like like other than the power of oh, her. I think it's Sacagawea. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sacagawea, on the other hand, bro, she was probably tossed she... around. Yeah, I heard she was a slut, dude. Uh, for she sure. gave it up to anybody. That furry cup was not, you know. But see, that's dry. what I'm saying, though. See, these native people, they like. I'm not trying to say they're savages, but they probably just eat, sleep, and bang. What's wrong with that? I don't see that sounds there's like a nothing, better life. There's nothing wrong, but I'm saying though, like you're. So you're, you're my boy. saying, so you're saying the Europeans came out, saw all this free love, they're like, uh, uh-uh, y- y'all need to work. No, 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 <laughs> that's no, what no, they no. did. And they no, see, that's the other Europeans. I'm saying what the free loving, like 
hippie that Christopher Columbus was. He comes there, right? He was and not he, a free loving hippie. He, he's out there for adventure. You know, he's probably had a couple of drinks and by a couple of drinks. James, James Cameron. I mean, <laughs> like this dude's like down in like barrels of ale. So he gets there. He's already like tipsy. And yeah. he sees this like just wild party going on. Duh, he's going to try to get into it. But it's like the same thing where it's like he's trying to talk to them. He's like, hey, you looking good. Like all drunk and stuff. And she's like, like talking another language, like come here, come here, boy. Yeah, and like honestly, how do we not know that like the first girl he met, what if she gave it up to him? And he's like, Oh shit, this is easy. And he's just like just grabbing other stuff. It's like the Spartan culture, bro. You I, tell me I you tell me you don't have I respect can't, for I can't people. Argue this. That's what I'm saying. Like you don't have respect for the Spartan culture. Like the only way in classical Sparta to get a wife was to literally overpower her. I mean, that's how we do it now. You got you, you get the roofie, ah, you put in whoa, the drink, whoa, whoa, and then you right, go power. Right, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Is that not how you guys do uh, it? No, no, whoa, no, 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 no. We're uh, we're more civilized. I'm the savage. Yes, you are in this case. So who's my Christopher Columbus? You have no Christopher Columbus. You have no Sacagawea. You have no Pocahontas. Damn, I'm just by All myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might have um. Freddie across the street, who also probably likes to do those hobbies as well as you. I don't associate with Freddie. She's too weird. Oh, okay. She's into that whole, uh, like, contract shit. Oh, with mutual man, man. agreement between the women and the man. I don't, I don't fuck with that. Oh, like 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 a union? Like a marriage? More like, like hey, are we going to fuck? She says, yeah, okay. Like oh. a waiver. Oh, so you're saying like on some 50 Shades of Grey shit, mm-hmm. like where like yeah. right before they yep, actually yep, have... Yep. Yeah, that's that's insane. Yeah, dude, I have. Uh... Didn't you watch that with Nathan? What Fifty Shades of Grey? Yeah. yeah. How was it? How was it? I you mean, guys walked out was... fully torqued. Uh no, but I mean, like it was a life changing movie, and so who who was on whose lap? Nobody. I mean, like I'm watching this movie like the whole time thinking that I'm actually watching a Batman movie, and at any point, my dude Bruce, because that's what I call him like during the whole movie. Like I honestly <laughs> still think his name Bruce. is Bruce. Okay, like he's about name. to don the cape and the cowl, but then I see him doing like all this weird shit with the girl and i was like okay cool so now i'm getting to see the other gadgets he has in his utility belt that we've all like just heard rumors of and i'm like all right but like this girl doesn't look like poison ivy or harley quinn or are there any other selena gr- kyle selena yeah, kyle uh, technically it kind of does look like selena kyle yeah see that's what i'm saying so i thought oh, it was like Catwoman. Catwoman. that's what i thought but then as the movie goes on and then he um what is that? What is his famous quote? He doesn't like to, he doesn't like to have sex. He only likes to have fuck. Oh no, he's like, I don't make love, I fuck or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, when Hard. he said that, I was Hard. like, oh shit, this is a classical Batman quote right here. Like <laughs> this movie is like, this movie's going places that no other Batman has gone to. Dog, honestly, if you just replace the name of like the the title, like Fifty Shades of Grey, just like Batman, Batman Undercover, Batman Under the Sheets, or some shit like that, nah, it would work. Yeah, it, it would probably work. even sold even more than it did. And shout out to Fifty Shades of Grey Part Two coming out. Oh, uh, Fifty Shades of Darker. Oh yeah, I forgot it. Did. It's not Part Two. Yeah, I read my, the book. My, my it's, my it's, it's not that good. I mean, I'm pretty sure you read the book. I have it on Audible, sponsored by Audible. I mean, considering it's fan fiction of Twilight, it's not the best written stuff ever. Yeah, a lot of it's just, honestly you can tell it's written by a woman because she comes way too quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. Um, question though, Gabe. <laughs> question. Answers. So we're talking about you know TV and stuff people are watching. Um. Oh yeah. yeah. What it, what is, what has anything, of notability, come out recently on Netflix that you've fucked with? I have something, but I'll wait. Go ahead. On Netflix recently. Yeah. Uh, something that you were mad that I wasn't about at first, and now I'm about. And the season eleven just dropped. Oh, always sunny. What up? Like, have you seen anything? No, nah, not yet. I haven't. I, haven't, I didn't even know it was out yet. Damn, bro! Like, no, because literally I checked like like three weeks ago, and it's still season ten. I was like, I guess I'll check in another three weeks. Hey, let's just say it's good. The Frank centric episode is one of the best episodes and fills in a lot of plot holes in Always Sunny. What do you plot mean? Like, like, you finally found out that? Uh, no, dude, let's there are a lot say, of plot holes in that. Let's show. just say this whole episode is shot in first person perspective of Frank. Dang, are you talking about like, like? Okay, okay, real quick. Yes or no, father? You know what I'm talking about. Um. Yes or no? No, but we finally do get to see what Nightcrawlers is about. Yo, <laughs> dude, that's you all I'll sold say. me. And also, too, 
we also get to see how Frank thinks. For instance, there's one scene where they ask him a question and he's just like, uh, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Oh, D's a bird. And everybody goes, ah, she's a bird. <laughs> Frank, you're the best. <laughs> Dude, honestly, Always Sunny is one of the best TV shows, like, in my opinion, like, especially comedy-wise. When's it going to end, though? Did, um, I heard, I heard they, they want to do at least one more season or two. I can't remember. Is it, still, of is it still on FX? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Did you see that, that show that D's doing by herself? Yeah. Have you seen the trailer for it? Yeah, I yeah. saw the trailer. It looks really funny. It looks funny, but at the same time, though. How how I'm fucking D how, herself yeah, carry how, it. How, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I don't know. I think she, from what I've seen in the trailer, I think she can she can hold her own. I, I mean, yet yeah, another child. episode that is D centric this time. D makes a smut film. You gotta check that one out. Oh, you got me <laughs> so okay. I'm just gonna leave right now. And go watch. <laughs> go watch this for right now. But uh, did you uh did you catch up on South Park? Uh, I still honestly haven't seen the last half of that season. Is it still mediocre? Or? Yeah, it's it's yeah. It's mediocre. Why, Honestly, it's yeah. mediocre at best. Yeah, it's not the best. Season. And you know, and the worst part too is that like I was watching not even like maybe a season or a half ago, but World War Zimmerman, and I was like, dude, where is this South Park? It's like Nathan said. Said they're working on the game. I feel like most Honestly, of the time I, it's it's focused on that. Yeah. No, I feel like sense. the game is going to come out and it's going to be like the same thing with Stick of Truth, where, where everybody's like, dude, Stick of Truth is honestly, the best way to describe it is a lost South Park season. And this one is honestly probably going to be another South Park season. Dude, I'm so excited for that game. Oh, but, same. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. But uh, Greg, you said you had something you were watching? Yeah. Um, I just watched all of the OA on Netflix. The OA? What it's a pretty that? interesting show. Um, yeah. It's basically like. I don't want to spoil it because it's it's pretty cool. But basically, there's like this girl that is supposedly kidnapped, but she kind of goes missing for a while and then comes back. And then you find out what really happened to her, and she kind of tells the story to like a bunch of people in like this neighborhood where she grew up. And <clears throat> it just kind of leads you along with like little bits of information and parts of the story, and uh, doesn't like. It just kind of teases you as you're going, but you learn more about all these characters. And then there's like some of the characters are like people that you would think you would hate. Yeah. And then they kind of redeem themselves later. And there's like, the best way to describe it is like there's really good characters, there's really good character growth. Um, there's good like mysteries and plot twists and stuff in it. And then the way it ends is pretty cool. Is it like a Netflix But it still has like a lot of questions. Oh, so you binge the whole thing? Uh no, I just watched it over a period of time. Oh, okay. Like an episode a day basically, but And it's called the OA and it's on Netflix. Is it a Netflix original though? Or no? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Netflix show. Oh, Dude, I definitely gotta check it. Uh, but it has Netflix is it has kind of like a sci fi or like supernatural element to it a little bit. Okay. But it's mostly grounded. Okay. But it's pretty cool. Yeah, no, dude, I gotta check this show out. Um, it kind of revolves around um people that have near death experiences and then come back and like tell people about their near-death experiences damn and then that's not, that, yeah this sounds really familiar yeah i honestly, I honestly feel like i heard about but it. i gotta check this out and see if maybe i've already seen a couple episodes mm-hmm. or if, if i've just heard about this and someone's recommended it because dude there's so many like netflix shows that people have recommended that are good that i just still haven't gotten around to seeing like sense eight i still need to see one yeah day. i haven't watched that um there's another one that people talked about that i still haven't seen I can't remember. This is just Netflix has so many shows; it's insane. And then, like you were telling me too, and my little brother's always telling me is that like most of their animes aren't half bad. Like you ever Netflix watched original F Family. F is for Family. Uh yeah. I honestly didn't like that show. I I I enjoyed it. Yeah. Did they ever come up with a season two for it? I don't think so. I I think that's going the way of BoJack Horseman, where they're just not going to talk about it anymore. Okay. Yeah. And Bojack. honestly, and the worst part too is that like that show. Love that Bo- Bojack Horseman season one is all right at times, and then season two is actually like really good. But I don't think enough people saw it for them to justify to make a season three. Really, because like that's all everybody talked about when that show was out. Yeah, yeah. when when the season two came out like yeah. last year, yeah, like early last year. But I haven't heard anything. Dude, that's the best show about depression I've ever watched. Oh, Bojack Horseman. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's awesome. It's just crazy to, to get in the mind of this horse who's. Suicidal, depressed, a narcissist, and, and is and is always constantly on drugs and alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to that horse. <laughs> shout out, <laughs> shout out, shout out, Bojack Horseman. Shout out, Will Arnett. Dude, also, so talk, um, I want to talk about something real quick. You uh, reminded up? me. This man, <clears throat> my idol, 
Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get in, okay, Let's get so in this. The is, most popular man in Hollywood right now. He's yes. the epitome of a Greek god. Okay, his biceps. I mean, he's his, he's, he's not so, Greek. He's, he's specific. Yeah, yeah, he's, I know, yeah, he's specific. I'm just saying, like, as, like when you think of like <laughs> Zeus, the uh-huh. king of all gods, right, right, the god of among gods. Who do mm-hmm. I see? The Rock, right? The no, rock. no, no. I see like, uh, I'm, I, give me a second. Let me picture real quick. I'm seeing Zeus. He's like he's leading all these people, right? Liam Neeson. And then Liam I see him turn around. <laughs> yes, Clash I'm either, Clash of the Titans. <laughs> I'm either seeing him played by <laughs> Liam Neeson. <laughs> My boy Russell Crowe. Oh, uh, okay. Or, or, uh, or, say his name. Jason Statham. Oh, no. What? But dude, no, what I'm saying I'm just is. Joking. Yeah, not, not, not Jason no, Statham. Anyways. I'm saying, ugly as hell. I'm saying, like, The Rock, like, bro, you could, like, use his pecs as, like, a cutting board to chop up meat. <clears throat> Absolutely. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, his legs are, like, tree trunks. His arms are, like, like two semi trucks together. Okay. You know, you, okay, remember, um, Catcher Freeman? Uh, yes, Catcher Freeman, that his trapezius yeah. triceps. Based off the rock. I mean, see, I would like to say it's a uh, shout out the boy, Nick Scarpino, off Game Over Greggy. He brought this up recently that he said that Arnold Schwarzenegger passed off the torch to the rock. True. And now my boy, the rock, he's carrying the torch, right? Yeah. But at the moment. He has a protege that he doesn't like talking about, right? <laughs> someone he keeps under his wing. Here it comes. Someone, someone that he's also doing a movie with pretty recently, right? Uh huh. And he's about to get the torch, right? <laughs> he also, he's also has a uh, the vocal cords of a god as well. And honestly, like I wouldn't say he's Zeus like, but, but I'd say like has. he's honestly like if you're saying the Rock is Zeus, uh. This guy I'm about to mention, right? He's like Hercules. He's like the bastard son yeah. that like The Rock doesn't really acknowledge it. But at the end, you know, he all becomes everybody's like favorite. Shout out my boy, Jack Efron. <laughs> like, Wait, who? Zach, Zach Efron. Zach Efron, <clears throat> uh, former, formerly the boyfriend of... Come on, no, I was about to say Selena Gomez, but no, no it's, it's Vanessa Steven. Hudgens. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever happened to her? Whatever happened to her, um, she uh, she got her nudes leaked the first time. Yeah, but even like, um, dude, like those were so low quality. Yeah, those congrats, were so low. congratulations. Yeah, she got Vanessa. her nudes leaked um, because she was thirsty for my boy Zach, which is you know really uh, really reasonable. Um, but this is and then she had a tiny. shitty um, career, right? Music. And then yeah, yeah, she had a shitty music career. Some more nudes leaked. So then, what happens yeah. after those second nudes leak? You just have to do indie movies, right? And she just wasn't that great of an actor, so yeah. she fell off. Like so maybe you, she'll have a third nude leak. Do you think? And do you that think would be like a resurgence into her career. Zach, Zach Efron. Well, she could be the Jack. next uh, Kardashian. Yeah, maybe. There one, you go. One could hope. Nah, true. But like I was saying, do you think Zach Efron getting shaved and and getting so built is a way to like, like a beacon for Vanessa Hudgens to come back to him? No, 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 no. Like my boy Zach's like past that. Yeah. Like honestly, it's nothing like, as romantic as that. Yeah. Like I would honestly, <laughs> I would honestly think that like Vanessa Hudgens took away Zach's like sex drive, and like at this moment now he's like almost like. I would I would honestly say like he, this boy might be sterile and has like no sex drive. Like his only drive in life is to become more physically fit and make stellar movies with <clears throat> um, De Niro. Uh, De Niro, Rock, uh, Rock. I mean, um, Seth Rogen. I mean, let's be real. Zac Efron is pretty hilarious. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's, he's real funny. But all I'm saying is, dude, like, because earlier in the in the text message, I brought up my boy Terry Crews. Yes. Shout out one time. But see, the problem with Terry Crews though is that the old Spice Man himself. Yeah, is that he's also a pr- gamer. Yeah, he, also a porn yeah, he addict. Did, he, he did be. Uh, oh damn! Yeah. How do you know this? He uh, he released a video like in his car, be like, hey, you know. I've battled years and years with porn addiction. Respect. Yeah. Like, he, like he, Honestly, I feel like Terry Crews is like such a humble guy. I love Terry Crews. But uh, continue. No, but see what I'm saying, though, is that like, see The Rock? 
he has it, and by he has it, I mean like he has the, the literal fountain of youth that he's saving, <laughs> like drop <laughs> juice. He or, will never die. <laughs> yeah, like he's saving like a little bit just for my boy Zach, so he can like at least live to be like two fifty. No, like the Rock will probably live to at least a chill. So what you're saying is that eventually Zach Efron will take over his role in Fast and Furious. Yes. 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 Yeah. All coming yeah. back full circle. Like, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be in the least bit shocked if. The um, I'm just I'm just waiting for Fast and the Furious to literally just be The Rock, Zac Efron, <laughs> and, and Kevin Vince Hart, and, and just <laughs> Kevin Hart, and that's it. <laughs> See, and that's another thing. A lot of people think that my boy The Rock is trying to pass the torch to Kevin Hart, but no, 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 dude, Kevin no, Hart's no, no, not no. that big. He's never gonna get that big. No, yeah. So you're saying Zac Efron is bigger than my boy Vin Diesel? Yes, <laughs> dude. <laughs> What eyes are you looking yeah, with? Yeah, check again. Dude, what are you seeing that in this man that I don't see? Bro, I, ju- I just see the future. Honestly. <laughs> like, I see him like... Yo, is Zac Efron baby Groot? Yo. Nah. That's true. He is not baby Groot. What if he's like... <laughs> see, I feel like if Zac Efron like just overnight, you know, grew like eight inches... You know, by eight inches, do yeah. You, what do you What do you mean? Yeah, as in like, like, it's in, like, it's in height. Oh, okay, okay. Well, oh, that, 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 okay. I'm glad you clarified there. Okay, <laughs> so I was know. gonna say, like, how do you know his normal size? Like, what's going on here? Like, even I'm not that big of a <laughs> Zach said, fan. He said, I'm five inches. It's okay. I don't hang out with midgets, <laughs> 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 but I'm just saying, dude, like, Zach's on the come up and he can only. <laughs> He can only keep doing like stellar movies. Okay, when did he start getting popular again? Mm. Uh, Neighbors. Neighbors, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say. Oh yeah, yeah, duh. Neighbors. Now he's done. Um, I think it's fucking Aubrey Plaza. Who? Uh, Zach. Like Efron, yeah. And and De Niro, like maybe double teaming her. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, but like I said, I don't think he. Uh, I think Vanessa Hudgens. Like took away his sex drive. Like he doesn't care about Punani anymore. That's, he's, how, that's why he's, he's so big. It. He has so much testosterone. He's yep. not releasing any. Straight up. That's the Rock's problem. That's what I'm saying. Like he the just, Rock he is just, just like, daughter, right? yeah, he's just constantly like, covered in slizz. He doesn't even know what to do with it. <laughs> Dude, I don't understand how this man is constantly like sweating and, and drenching baby oil. Oh, bro, because it's gotten to the point where he's like, he's literally probably <clears throat> at this point now because it's an expensive and. It's a long, time-consuming process, but most of his sweat glands have been replaced with just baby oil. Like <laughs> just just <laughs> baby oil. Dude, it was really funny because Aaron, Aaron, our boy, you know, Aaron, Aaron Richardson, shout out, pointed this out to me about in, not, not Furious 8 or Furious 6 or 7, whatever, that he walks out the van already sweating. Oh, who, <laughs> All, uh, Like, he, the rock walks the rock? out of an AC, you know, van drenched in sweat. Like, you can see it in his shirt. Like it's dripping like down his cheeks, like like he's walking like a snail leaving like slush behind him. I mean, because there was like no AC in that <laughs> car, though. Dude, what do you mean it's a government issued car? But see, it also like the Rock. He's like he likes to do like weight reduction in his car, so he probably took out the air filter, <laughs> the whole like AC unit itself, <laughs> like so he could get some like sweet turns and. Do, so what like, you're saying is he's all about that JDM life. <laughs> yes, right, that's what right, I'm right. saying. <clears throat> I fuck with that. I no excess body fat. And then honestly, too, you probably like for more rate reduction, like took out like the actual motors in his window, so his windows can't even go down. <laughs> do, do you think the Rock wears underwear? Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, I feel like he just lets it all hang loose. I feel like, like the Rock has a small penis. Um, I don't know where this conversation is going now. Like, I'm just, I'm just throwing that like, out there. We like, talked about underwear. It's cool to talk about a man's <laughs> underwear, but now you're just talking about his junk, like no, his pride. Because like, how big he is. I mean, first he talked about Zac Efron, so then he. I didn't talk yeah, about like, I, I, why I, are you I'm... doing this? <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why do you always have to go down this? Rabbit why is everything hole? inches with you? Yeah. I mean, what do you want me talking like feet? That's a, that hurts. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> But um, there goes my political career. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> one day, one day, I'm like, I'm running for president. I'm running for president, sir. D- didn't you say it hurts to take feet in there? <laughs> Next question. That was taken <laughs> out of context. I mean, <laughs> what does that even mean, right? Like, what are you talking about? But you said you, prior to that, you were talking about penises. I'm proud of my penis. Yes. yes. <laughs> Next question. That's, that's my campaign manager. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> Greg's just in the back like, say this. (laughs) (laughs) 
But uh, anything else anybody wants to bring up, or you guys want to bring this this boy to a close? So a uh, screeching halt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, real, real quick, I just want to give a shout out to my boy Gregory for not liking the evil M emblem on his Mazda. Yeah, I'm not about that. I'm not about that at all. I feel like I've seen every Mazda that's like stance has the evil. Yeah, M. every single one does. It's, it's really I'm cool. about just what do you mean keeping the evil M like the Mazda? Oh yeah, M? yeah, the Mazda M. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because he was saying he wants to you, like rebadge it to whatever they call it in in Japan. What is it like Lexa? Uh, Exela. Exela. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, but I'm like that's cool. Then I asked him if he's doing the evil M. He's like, no, fuck that. I was like, whoa, whoa, Greg. whoa, whoa, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I could feel like the anger in the text. I was like, "Okay, dude, <laughs> how dare you?" Hey, but before we go though, one last question I need to ask you. <coughs> so we're talking about people and their career and reinsurgence. Do you guys ever think that my boy Biebs will be? Co- Do you think Biebs will be the next Mark Mark Wahlberg? Like most people hate him, like at the beginning most, of his career. Dang, the I mean, next Marky Mark. <clears throat> yeah, like the next Marky Mark. I feel like people are already loving Bieber, but there's still some haters out there that need to just get on the bandwagon. And join the Bieber train, Choo-choo. like like the Bieber Nation, Bieber Fever. Dude, me, I've been with Bieber since day one. Straight up, like you've always thought he's a talented young man, bro. Respect the kid. Like I feel like people who take his antics, like to heart, even though because he did a lot of the stupid shit when he was a kid, like what do you expect. I mean, when he was throwing eggs at the neighbors, that wasn't too long ago. How old was he? How old was he? I think. I mean, Biebs is. Probably like twenty two <clears throat> now, like my age, or maybe twenty one. Racing, so crashing probably, sports cars. Yeah, he's probably like nineteen or twenty. I mean, didn't didn't uh, Paul Walker do that? And then we consider him a hero. I mean, Paul Walker's a legitimate <laughs> driver. Yeah, like, and they, Biebs just had like he's a he's a legend. Yeah, Biebs all he had was a Bugatti, so he thought he was a racer. <laughs> right. Bugari. Why are you saying Bugari? Why would you? How do you pronounce it? That doesn't exist. Bugari. I don't know what a Bugari. Bugari. That's actually Bulgari is a watch brand. Yeah. Watchery watch brand. Like, I mean, Biebs probably also owns a like a Bugari. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but, <laughs> but he also owns like mo- like at least two or three Bugattis. Right. Dude, I, I, I don't. I hate the Bugatti so much. Why? I feel like they're, they're the, over. The Bugatti Veyron was like the fastest car for a while. Not anymore. Was, but not anymore. I mean, the Hennessy Venom beats it. Yep. It's a way cool, nicer looking car. The only thing I don't like about the Bugatti Veyron is just how. Big and wide. It, lo- it it feels like it's such a big car. It does look like a boat. It does. Mm-hmm. And that's what I like about the Hennessy Venom. It's so tiny and compact and so low to the ground. Like, it just feels... This looks like a sports car that goes fast. Like, how, wait, what is this thing topping off at? What does it top off at? I think the Bugatti was, like, 260, wasn't it? Yeah, I know it got surpassed. I don't remember... Now it's we gotta, now we gotta look this up. I'm sorry, guys. I know, guys. I know we were about to wrap it up, but... I know that boy Mayweather bought it. It's a million dollar car. <coughs> you said Hennessy Venom? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this like made by... I know those uh, Paganis are fast too. Yeah. Oh, and what's the, what's the A? There's like a brand that's A something. Um, Acura? No. 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 I want to say A super. It's not A. Something to talk about. Yeah. Let me look at this. Up. <coughs> Dude, I'm telling you, Hennessy Venom looks dope. This does look sick. This looks sick as fuck. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a Lotus. <clears throat> Twin turbocharged V8, seven liter. Dude, those things like those things are almost illegal to drive here. When I say almost like they're barely a pass. Like you're guaranteed to do a burnout. This thing can uh, go to zero to one eighty six. I was actually thinking seconds. of uh, a Kona Seg. Oh, the Kona Seg, dude. Those things are dope. All carbon fiber. But yes, the. Uh, the Hennessy Venom is the fastest car in the world. Yeah. That appears to be. <clears throat> Shout out to my Hennessy Venom. I want that car one day. It says this thing tops out at like 270. <clears throat> or at least 270 is the fastest they've ever recorded it going. Yeah. Dude, look at that thing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Greg, what would you but, do if um, you had that car for the day? It's not the most powerful car, though. What would I do? Yeah. What antics would you get into with that car? I would just have to find like a really straight road and just floor it. Oh, that'd be nice. That's probably it. <laughs> He's like, no, that's, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. That'd probably be enough of a thrill, though. Dude, did to I... To get it up there, like, almost, close to 270. Wrecked. Wait, why? And how? <clears throat> I was sliding uh, Friday... Last Friday when it was on ice. Dumb ass. Was Why were you he took there. the he took the FRS out in the ice. I did, and uh, 
I, I guess I was sliding a little too hard because I hit a patch of ice. So oh, I was spinning shit. out. Yeah. And like, let's say your leg is a wall of a building, right? Quick question. While you're like spinning out, did you also have a um, a purse full of cheesy poofs in there? <laughs> no, no comment. <laughs> okay, continue. But then. So I'm spinning, right? My car, literally, my, your leg's right here, right? My car lands right there. Yeah. I was, dude, I was like, holy shit. Literally Damn. inches away. Hey, Can't luckily pass. you got good brakes. Yeah, luckily. Shout out to my brakes. One time. They're probably warped now because how hard I stomped on it. Damn. But hey, guys. This was uh, episode 18 of the Nerd Outlet Podcast where we talked about some anime. We talked a little bit about TV. We got a little bit into car talk. And most but not least, I was able to prove Gabe wrong as my no, boy no, no, CC. You didn't prove shit wrong. My boy CC no, we, no. is a national oh. hero. I just want to give a quick shout out to 12-year-old girls and boys. Don't discriminate. You know who I want to give a shout out to? They're the future. Amerigo Vespucci. Mm. The true founder of America. Dude, no. You Are you kidding me? The fucking Vikings found this country way before anybody else. You think so? Yep. The historical evidence. The Scandinavians were here? But guess what? I don't ever acknowledge any Scandinavian thing here. You see me eating Swedish meatballs when I go to Ikea? What about the Native no. Americans who discovered this place before? Wait, you don't? No, I eat the uh, hot dogs. No, you should definitely get those meatballs. Yeah, I meatballs heard they're a lot great. better here. I just like, yeah, I honestly haven't been to Ikea in like two years. And last time I was there, I was just like really hungry and I wanted like an actual meal. Yeah. But then when I told everybody I just had a hot dog, they were like, bro, the meatballs are more of a meal than the hot dogs. Yep. It's really funny to me. Like Ikea has not changed one bit. Nope. Like I, I was, I was there like not too long ago. And the last time before that was like almost five years ago. looks identical. And yeah, then, bro. They just, you know, they, they like add some new things, but not really that yeah, much. I mean, they add new things, but like. The store itself does not change. Like, it's right. timeless. It's like a goddamn time machine walking inside through those doors. You know? Yep. Damn. So, like, you don't even know if you're in the 90s or, like, the 70s it's in like, there? dude, you walk in, you walk out, you're in, like, 3,000-something. Shit. And you just, like, see, like, flying cars, and you're just like, dude, what the fuck? No, flying cars, the fuck, dude, no. Oh. What yeah. do you see? Underground then? cars. We're digging. We're more people. Oh, because, like, the sun's radiation just got exactly. too intense for people? Mm-hmm. Interesting. So, we're all albino, hairless mole rats. Interesting. Shout Are we Rufus. like, is there, is this also still a scenario where it's like the middle and lower class is like living underground while the elite tan people have moved above the earth and are like floating, like floating above the surface, which is honestly probably toxic at this point. No, this is more of like a, uh, a savage time. Oh, like, like the world has just ended and, and, the populations are rebuilding and repopulating again, but there's no there's no system, so government, there's no organization, there's no there's no structure. Oh shit! So, so it's just it's a free for all. Okay, so like my like future Luther at this point has finally been able to uh, fulfill his long lived dream of being a graffiti artist at this point. Like there is no art. Oh shit, dude! We live in a world of darkness. It's just survival. Damn, dog! You live day by day. You 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 go back to. Oh, so this is like some instincts. wild west shit. But instead of like me pulling out my my six shooter, I'm pulling out like my laser pistol and I'm just vaporizing no, people dude, on the this spot. This is some, some like prehistoric shit. Like instead of whipping oh, out your like pistol, spears? you whip out your teeth and you gnaw a motherfucker to death. All right, guys, this was episode 18 of the Nerd Outlet podcast. <laughs> you can find us at at, uh, at Nerd Outlet on Twitter, at Nerd Outlet on Instagram, uh, Facebook slash Nerd Outlet, and as always. If you're listening to this, you probably already know. We're on YouTube. Uh, this is your boy, Luther. Gabe. Yeah. Greg. Peace out. And uh, this is your boy, Nathan. Uh, signing out one time. My dick's still on fire. Yeah, you should definitely go see a doctor. I'm, get, I'm get, serious. Get transparent. Like, like, even if you have to pay, just you should go. All right, all right, all right, guys. You've convinced me. I'll go to a, an urgent care and pay double right now. <laughs> but uh, Just get it removed. You don't need it. Yeah. What are you using it? For? Surgically removed. So it's fucking like mold. I mean, bro, it's because it's it's nice. It's it's cushiony and uh, it provides a lot of comfort in my life to me. You carry it with you. Uh. And we're this out. was episode eighteen of the Nerd Out <laughs> Podcast. Nathan's out. Shout out to floppy penises. <laughs>